Hello, soyez la bienvenue à Language Place and today we'll continue with les conjonctions. Les conjonctions. We're going to be looking at the different types of conjunctions and how they are used in a sentence. Now, do not come into class with the mindset that conjunctions are strictly in the middle of words or sentences. It will shock you to find some at the beginning and some can also be used at the end of a sentence. Allons-y! Les conjunctions se divisent en deux groupes. Deux groupes. Conjunctions can be divided into two groups. Okay? Now, les conjonctions de coordination. Les conjonctions de coordination. Okay? That is the name of the first group of conjunctions. Okay. Now, these words, what do they do? They join together words or sentences or group of words. Okay? And they are the very common conjunctions in French. All right? So, and they are made mostly of one word. We have, look at this sentence, okay? Now, they show, elles peuvent marquer l'union, okay? They can show union. For example, a, elles peuvent marquer l'opposition, opposition. For example, mais, but, they can show conclusion, okay? La conclusion, all right? Conclusion, enfin, okay? Enfin, shows conclusion. We'll look at it in a bit, in the sentences. It can show consequence. If you remember, in the introductory part of conjunction, we made a sentence using donc to show consequence of a previous action and la negation okay we have ni as part of negation ni all right is also a conjunction that shows negation so we have catherine a floor a son des soeurs Catherine and Flor are sisters. Okay? Second example, enfin, l'histoire c'est fini. Okay, now, this sentence can mean two things in French. Encore l'histoire c'est fini. Like, finally, the story is ended. Someone's telling a story. Maybe it's a long, winding story. It's a little bit boring. Enfin, the story is finished. Or the person telling the story is saying, now the story is done. So the story is finished. And it can mean that you're going through a challenging situation and it's all over. And then you go, enfin, the story is finished. Okay? Meaning the challenging time is over and I'm now in a new phase. Okay? So, depending on the context, Enfin, l'histoire c'est fini. C'est un, c'est bon français. Très bien. Ok. So, enfin, l'histoire c'est fini. L'histoire enfin c'est fini. It's, it's also correct. Ok. So, that's why I said a conjunction can be found at the beginning or at the end. And sometimes you might hear l'histoire c'est fini enfin. Their enfin is at the end of the sentence so you have made examples putting enfin at the beginning enfin in between enfin at the end of a sentence so mais ni ou enfin et belong to this group of conjunctions let's look at the next group of conjunctions les conjunctions de subordination Les conjonctions de subordination, euh, ce type de conjonction établissent une dépendance entre les éléments qu'elles unissent. 
okay all that French means they show a dependence they depend on the elements they combine okay they depend a lot on the elements they combine so if they were in a sentence combining two elements they will most likely be starting the dependent clause of the sentence so these can be simple words like can meaning when okay can meaning when we have come meaning like or as quoi okay one word simple words okay but they are conjunctions of subordination and look at this example sa mère est venue lorsqu'il dort his mom came or arrived his mother arrived or his mother came while he was sleeping now what what i said about dependent clause independent clause if you were going to divide this sentence into two sa mère est venue would be your independent and lost skill door will be your dependent so that's what i was saying with they would most likely start the dependent clause in a sentence d'accord okay so i've moved a little bit into intermediate class so you're learning something higher than beginners okay so a perfect composé now they can be more than a word okay they can be um, conjunctions that are made up of two words so we have tandis que afin que alors que dès que so look at this example dès que son père est mort il ne va plus à l'école dès que son père est mort il ne va plus à l'école ah since his father died he no longer goes to school ah oh, c'est dommage okay since his father died he no longer goes to school now do not be tempted to think that because there are two words it has more than one meaning no most of the time they have just one meaning a word in english language okay they are just um, composed words okay to give more meaning more description to the sentence i hope you've been able to see okay the difference between conjunctions of coordination and conjunctions of subordination no one is going to be asking you all this in spoken french it is just to help you to make proper sentences okay and to construct good sentences in french c'est à vous maintenant d'aller dans vos dictionnaires ok c'est à vous maintenant d'aller dans vos dictionnaires pour chercher la signification de quelques conjonctions en français et les utiliser dans les phrases I have told you before that c'est un forgeron qu'on devient, qu devient forgeron Practice makes for perfection. You want to know more about prepositions? Take some of them, use them in sentences, particularly the ones that we've talked about in class, and you've known their meanings. While the ones that are strange to you, come on now, go to your dictionaries and get cracking with French sentences and you'll become a pro in no time. We've come to the end of the class on conjunctions. I hope you got value and till we see you next time. Au revoir, à bientôt.